Hey guys, it's Shaman here, back out again on a Dragonvale breeding episode. Today I'm going to tell you how to breed the new Frostfluff Dragon. It's a pretty cool little dragon, I'm excited to get into this video today. This dragon is a rook dragon, so it's more harder to breed than the normal um, dragons that we usually get in Dragonvale. So yeah, I actually collected all the dragons of the Rifticon recently, but then there was this little guy right here, which you can see on screen, so now we got to collect this guy too. So I'm going to show you the breeding hit, give you guys some time in order to look at it, and then after that we're going to read it to you guys. So, first thing we, you need to know about this dragon is that you need to have the Rift aligned with it in order to breed it, no matter what. So, the easiest way to get the Rift aligned with it is by purchasing it by 4,000. Now, this is a way easier than uh, waiting for it to pop up on a random day. That's what my recommendation is. So, yeah, if you guys want to do that, it's my thought, though. So, let's go into the breeding hit right now, guys. I'm pretty excited. So, let's go to the Rift Dragons. And then we have the dragon right here, Frost Fluff. It, you need the Rift aligned with a Cold Trait. You now have a cold, earth, and also rift dragon elements. Now I'm going to read the breeding hint to you guys, and then after that I'm going to give you guys 25 seconds to look at it, okay? Now let's do this. The breeding pair of dragons must contain the cold, earth, and also rift elements, and the rift must be aligned with the cold trait. This dragon can only be bred within the rift, not any other way. There cannot be outside the rift no matter what, like any other of the rift dragons. So now I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to look at this, okay guys? Then I'm going to spoil you guys about Dragonville Mini, Episode 21 at the end of this video, okay? Okay then. Now let's go back over here and I'll give you guys another 25 seconds to look at this. Sucks. It sinks how I can't actually breed this dragon right about now. Because of the fact that I already spent 21,000 grip crystals in order to try and get it. I didn't have a good chance at getting it. I actually tried multiple times to get it. And now it's like 5,000 for me to breed again, so... Kind of a bummer on my part, so I am having a hard time. I'm, I'm having a hard time. But yeah. So now I'm going to show you which dragons I'm using the breed. I'm using a cold rift dragon, and I'm also using a spectrum dragon, which is a cold and earth dragon. It has a rift trait in it, and it also is a with a cold trait. But yeah. Pretty cool little dragon. You can see right here, it is actually 5000 for me to breed again, so it's pretty expensive at this rate. So yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be breeding one, another one today. Hopefully by Dragonville Mini episode 21 I'll be having it and maybe having all the Rift Dragons again. That'd be great. But we'll have to see until then. So yeah. So let me head back outside the Rift and then after that I want to talk to you guys about what I want to do for Dragonville Mini episode 21. First thing I want to do, I want to actually upgrade Kairos and see if we can get into level 19 and also get 23 hours which is the second to final last level. Then I also want to upgrade the Oni Dragon. Not get the Oni Dragon. I mean... Show you guys the Oni Dragon, Spirit Dragons, Young Form, Team Form, then Adult Form, hopefully. If we can do that at all, that'd be great. We'll have to see. But if this video did help you out, make sure to, um, yeah. I'll just see you in the next one. If you guys want to stay tuned for more of my videos, that'd be great. But until then, I'll see you next one. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, you guys are always the best. But until then, I'll see you next time in the next video. G-Man out.